The Grammy goes to... Lizzo! Lizzo! Grammy award-winning artist Lizzo has successfully turned herself into one of pop music's most heralded superstars these days. She has a unique ability to use her music as a tool for empowering women across the world with uplifting lyrics and a willingness to embrace body types of all shapes and sizes. But when she's not busy taking over the music scene one single at a time, Lizzo likes to spend a bunch of her time at her home. A stunning Los Angeles place that she's shown off to not only Vogue magazine, but the likes of David Letterman as well. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Lizzo is a singer, rapper, songwriter, and more who seemingly blew up on the music scene pretty quickly. While she's only just begun, she's been working hard and has amassed an estimated net worth of about $10 million, which has bought her a pretty nice LA spread worthy of bragging. Hey, if your home was good as hell, you'd probably be willing to show it off too. And there's no shortage of things to look at or discover inside the home of hip hop superstar Lizzo. Just like the artist herself, this home is joyful, colorful, and carefree. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment. This one looking at where Lizzo calls home. Be sure to subscribe, ring that bell for notifications, and follow me on Instagram to chat. Now let's get into this video. According to a report from Heavy, Lizzo first moved from Minnesota to Los Angeles in 2016. At the time, she was working on recording her EP Coconut Oil, and she had just also booked a gig hosting the MTV series Wonderland. After working in LA for two years, Lizzo decided she was comfortable enough in the city to look for a place of her own. She decided to set up shop in the neighborhood known as Echo Park. She told Rolling Stone in 2018, I moved here for two reasons, none of them because I wanted to be here. I have so much anxiety and I always get weirded out living in places that are on fall lines, but here I am. In spite of her anxiety, Lizzo settled in the area of Echo Park because she considers it to be the little Minneapolis of LA even if she knows most of the people who live there would never be caught dead referring to it as such. All right, now that we know why she made the move, let's take a look at the home itself. As we progress through Lizzo's unbelievable pad, prepare yourself to enter something of a time warp because she's decorated this home with a very 50s mid-century look in mind, integrating vintage styles with warm wood and a whole ton of open shelving. Let's start with the very first thing you'll notice when walking in through Lizzo's front door, her sterling sitting room. This room not only features a formal sitting area with a pistachio green couch topped up with red and white cushions and contemporary wooden furniture, it also acts as Lizzo's de facto treasure trove, the area of her home where she keeps much of her colorful career memorabilia. The most prominent aspect of this room is definitely her gallery of trophies, which include not only her designer minuscule handbag, but also the one award she's the proudest for having won, her 2019 Soul Train Music Award for her album, Cause I Love You. Sticking to the main floor, let's step inside of the singer's open concept kitchen, which comes complete with chestnut brown cabinets, some modular furnishings, and most importantly, a neon blue glow-up sign that's 1000% Lizzo. Further silver gray elements like her center island and textured marble countertops complement the richness of the dark wooden cupboards and ensure that even though this kitchen might be on the small side, it's still a space where you want to spend as much free time as possible. A stone's throw away from the kitchen is Lizzo's dining room set, which as nice as it is, is definitely overshadowed by, well, let's just call it the elephant in the room, Lizzo's nearly life-sized Valentino purse. It might not be as compact as her tiny one, but it certainly leaves an impression, doesn't it? On the opposite end of her kitchen is Lizzo's main living room, which houses a gigantic L-shaped all black couch topped off with some pure Lizzo furry cushions. On the opposite side of the room is a teal pot with a large potted plant inside that provides a splash of color to the room. But the standout piece is definitely the black and white photo of sunbathing women in all different colors, shapes, and sizes. 
Moving upstairs, Lizzo has granted us a taste of her master suite by providing a peek into her gigantic walk-in closet that's a must-see. Some of her fans have even helped provide for this wardrobe by gifting Lizzo with some pretty cool pieces, including one of her favorites, a fan-made denim jacket. And just steps away from that wardrobe is her spectacular ensuite bathroom that has just the right amount of mirror coverage to ensure Lizzo can check herself out from every conceivable angle. Tucked away in the depth of Lizzo's home is her very own recording studio. Its all white canvas makes for an eye pleasing backdrop to Lizzo's many fantastic pieces of art that decorate the walls, many of which are self portraits, by the way. And this is also the room where Lizzo keeps her ever expanding collection of flutes, some of which she's more than happy to share while hanging out with the likes of David Letterman. Finally, let's check out what might just be Lizzo's favorite part of her own home, her backyard. It's an intimate space that features a whole bunch of greenery, perfect for when you're feeling reflective. Another highlight is this cozy breakfast nook with a pared down wooden table alongside matching chairs and a green bench. This outdoor dining spot has a great view of Lizzo's triangular pool, the far end of which opens up to yet another sitting area with a thatched roof and oversized chairs featuring colorful cushions for optimum relaxation. A backdrop of palm trees helps foster a definite bohemian vibe to the space and also provides Lizzo all the calm and tranquil energy she needs to concentrate on her at home workouts. Whether she's burning a little incense, playing her flutes, or working with crystals, this is the one part of Lizzo's home that's in constant use. Before we wrap things up, I thought I'd take a quick moment to give you guys a taste of how Lizzo likes to vacation. Sure, her home is stupendous, but when you're living the high life 24 7, sometimes you just need to change it up for no reason at all. Unfortunately for Lizzo, when she recently tried to get some much needed R&R, she was kicked out of her rental three days early by a ticked off landlord who was apparently bothered by all of her partying and celebrating. Now before you start feeling too bad for Lizzo, just hold that thought because even though she was ousted from one vacation rental, she found another in record time. And as she would come to make clear on social media, this place, well, it was far nicer than the place she left. This private two acre hillside compound in Palm Springs costs a stunning $5,000 a night to rent and features what's said to be the only legal residential helicopter pad in Coachella Valley. It's also secured by steel gates at the foot of a 600 foot driveway. As you might guess with dimensions like that, this rental provides sweeping panoramic views of the city lights not to mention the surrounding desert and mountains. Meanwhile, the house itself features four bedrooms, five bathrooms, 4,300 square feet of living space, and a sprawling patio that also houses a 60-foot infinity edge swimming pool. Yeah, I'd say things worked out all right for Lizzo in the end, and she even let the guy who kicked her out of the previous place know about it on Instagram with a message like this. Okay, I think she made her point clear regardless. We've taken a look at where Lizzo calls home, so I think that concludes this house tour. What did you guys think about her abode in Echo Park, Los Angeles? What was your favorite room or unique decoration in her entire home? I think that house is all her and she's touched it up with her own personality to say the least. We can see it in the art, the furnishings, and more. Be sure to let me know what you liked or didn't like about Lizzo's home down in the comments. My name is Kara and I hope you enjoyed our most recent house tour featuring Lizzo. If you did, please like and subscribe and I will catch you all in the next video. Bye!